To begin installing Profile 6 fibre cement sheeting, lay the first sheet at the eaves at one end of the building, with the smooth surface facing upwards. The head of the sheet should be positioned 50mm from the centre of the purlin and the sheet should be square to the framework. The base of the sheet can then be fixed to the first purlin to secure it in position. Typically, self-drilling screws can be used for timber and light gauge steel substructures as they provide a quick and effective one-step fixing operation. They have built-in wings to oversize the hole by the required 2mm and include multiple washers to seal it over. These are available in both carbon steel and stainless steel finishes depending on the building requirements. For certain applications, more traditional fixing methods such as hook and crook bolts may be required. The sheets are fixed using a simple method of two fixings per purlin per sheet and are located in the centre of each purlin through the crest of the first full corrugation in from either edge of the sheet. In regular conditions, a 150mm end lap is required. If your project is located in any of the highlighted areas, then increased end laps or butyl sealing strips may be required. Speak to the Eternit technical team with any queries. Lay the second sheet up slope, overlapping the bottom sheet by the required end lap. To avoid a build-up of fibre cement at the overlaps, a diagonal cut is made, called a mitre. The mitre measurements are dictated by the end and side laps as shown here. The mitres should be cut at ground level using a hand saw or slow speed reciprocating power saw. Once the mitre is cut, the sheet can then be fixed into position using the two fixings per purlin per sheet rule, meaning the bottom fixings of the top sheet also become the top fixings of the bottom sheet. Ensure the fixing hits the centre of the purlin by measuring up from the end of the top sheet. As our installation here requires a 150mm end lap, the centre of the purlin would be 100mm up as shown. Once you reach the ridge, it's good practice to install the first run of sheets on the opposite slope. Placing a ridge cap onto the sheet should then show whether the corrugations on both sides are perfectly aligned before continuing. Continue sheeting along the length of the building, starting at the eaves and working up to the ridge with each run, mitering where necessary. When laying the sheets, ensure all end and side laps are perfectly aligned.